Enter the Gungeon, yes. New game time. Depending on how much you guys like this game, you know, we'll play it for a few episodes or we can play it for a while. I'm planning at least five to seven episodes. We'll see what you guys think. Anyways, I'm your host, Get Good Fox. This is going to be a separate progression from the Twitch one. Uh, in fact, you might not know it, but if you go to the bottom here, if, in fact, if you're a uh, Gungeon player, you can change the save slot, but we're going to be doing save slot B. Okay, I'm just gonna skip the tutorial. You do get something for doing the tutorial, but you know what? I'm a better tutor than the game. I'm gonna teach you how to play, because I know how to play this game. I've only beaten it a few times, but you know what? It doesn't matter. This game's really hard, by the way. Hold there, pilot. Before you descend, you might wish to learn the ways of the Gungeon from the great Manuel in the Halls of Knowledge. Tutorials are for chumps. Ha <laughs> ha, you're right. Enjoy your imminent demise. We're going in. You get money for completing the tutorial. You actually, you unlock some things. Yeah, maybe I'll do the tutorial at the end of it. Yeah, okay, so, this is a very hard game, and um, yeah, we, we probably will do the tutorial. We'll do it in reverse order. So, yes, we need to shoot things. Yes, shooting is good. If you like guns, then, then you're gonna like things. So, this is a rogue game, meaning each time we play, it's a little different. It's also very challenging. And our goal right now is to not die. No, you don't. Oh, I thought he was gonna throw it at me. Here we go. This guy's great. I love fighting this guy because he's worth a lot of money. So those empty shell casings are money. All right, by the way, I'm playing on the PC with a controller. So uh, right bumper is how you roll. Roll is good because it, it lets you avoid gunfire. You shoot with the right bumper. Uh, reload with X. Um, if I use my, can I, can I use my mouse? There we go. So down here is our ammo. Uh, our starting gun is infinite ammo, so we always have something. This is my, um... This is my accessory over here. Each character has different accessories. The pilot, he can unlock treasure chests. I'm really greedy, so that's what I want to do. Now, uh, hold the left trigger to see the map. And you, anytime you explore an area that has one of these things here, you can teleport back to it. Nothing slows you down in this game. You go fast in it. It's great. Anyways, let's just, let, let's just learn through combat. This guy's self-destruct, so he's pretty dangerous. Now, if you take some damage in the first area, don't worry. You, 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 there's a decent amount of health in the first area. You can push A to flip these over, make some cover. Oh god, it's a ghost with an AK-47. Who said that's allowed? Don't, don't let them surround you. You don't want that to happen. We took out the ghost with the AK-47. This is a rubber bullet. Doesn't actually do damage, but if he hits you, it knocks you around. We need to, we need to be greedy. We need to explore all the areas. This guy's worth a lot of money. We want to take him out. You might think he has a sword, but the truth is that he actually has a sword made out of bullets. Yes, in the gungeon, everything has to be a gun. If you don't use a gun, then you're like, then you're definitely dishonorable. You're, you're a big poop. I oh, we got a health back. Nice. Let's keep going. The red one isn't as good as the blue. Oh, it's a big old horde of them. These are the basic ones. These are known as the Bulletkin. They're like the basic troopers of the Gungeon. You can kind of get a sneak peek of what kind of weapon they use based on what kind of bullet. Like, this guy's a shotgun shell, so, you know, it makes sense that he uses a shotgun. These guys are just kind of your basic pistol guys. Not No big deal. We got it. Here comes the hand grenades. We need to get them first. The blue shotgun shell is a bit deadlier. He has more health and he shoots faster. We can handle it though. Now the money is here. One of the ways you know you've cleared the floor is because you'll start sucking up the money. Watch, when I take this guy, I think this is the last guy. Yeah, see how I suck up all the money? Once you suck up all the money, that's how you know you've actually defeated all the enemies. Oh, don't bother destroying these things. They, they, they're just decorative. Okay, I don't know everything about this game. So if they're not decorative, then, like, I, I guess someone can correct me. But, oh, that's an explosive barrel. Don't, they hurt you, but they hurt bad guys. So here's a shop. Don't shoot your gun in the shop. He gets mad. 
and you don't want him to get mad. He gets mad for the rest of the game and he won't sell to you anymore. So over here, we can look at what we can buy. So the shell casings are our money. So this is 21 casings, uh, seven to ammo. Keys are really good, but I'm not gonna buy anything yet because remember, we can just warp around. It's, there's nothing to it. Okay, this is the boss room, but uh, we need to explore the whole area because I need money and I need a gun. Like, this gun is okay, especially for now, but, like, we're gonna need a little more. There's a lot of secrets in this game, too. Like, I just want to, like, beat the game and get the worst ending right now. Like, beating the game is hard enough. Okay, here's a treasure chest. Green is like a medium quality. What we want to do is, since we have a limited number of keys, we want to reveal all the treasure chests first, and then find... Uh, we want to focus on unlocking the really magnificent chests. No, 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 no. You're not gonna get me. Oh, yeah, normally he throws the ball at you at the end. Give me that money. The silver one is worth five. So it's great. I love it. Uh, let's keep going. Yeah, so this is a rogue game. It is designed for you to play it multiple times. And by that, I mean, even if you're defeated, you get bonuses and stuff. Like, you unlock better equipment, and it will give you a chance to, like, have a better shot at winning. You also unlock... Okay, blue is, like, the second worst quality. But yeah, you unlock merchants who will sell you awesome stuff. It gives you better chances of finding even better gear. It's great. Like, it, this game, it's so fast-paced. It's, it's just such a fun game. Can't say enough good about it. I figured I'd play it because it would be a different change of pace, too. No, you don't. I'm taking them out. These guys aren't worth much money. Ah, I need money. Um, here we go. Okay, so it looks like green is the best quality, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, we got the D-pad! Okay, so in the gungeon, lots of things are guns. The directional pad, so let's activate the Ammonomicon. Ammonomicon is how we can tell, like, you know, it gives us... So I'll read them. The Rogue Special. Underhanded and efficient, a semi-automatic weapon with infinite ammo does not reveal secret walls. The rogue special given to the part the pilot by his partner, it's never let him down. This hip shooter has been known to fire half-cocked and often gets itself into more trouble than it can handle. Over here we've got the directional pad. Input, output, burst fire. When this gun runs out of ammo, it is destroyed, creating a chest. Interesting, I didn't know that. This pad was once used as the summons for an ancient convocation of wizards. It is crusted from years of use, notably back, low, and low punch. Interesting. Trusty lockpick, who needs keys? Chance to pick a lock can only be used once per lock. These lockpicks have never let the pilot down, except for the many times that it did. Uh, disarming personality, for you, reduces the price at shops. The pilot is able to talk his way into almost anything, usually gunfights. Hidden compartment, extra space, increases active item capacity and maximum ammo counts. Ever since the hegemony caught him with a few questionably legal goods, the pilot has turned to more clandestine methods of storage. So these are the unique things. This lockpick and these things here, that's unique to the pilot. There's different characters. These are all the guns in the game. Um, there, there's a lot. There's a lot of guns in this game. Some of them are like, you know, very normal looking guns, like revolvers, shotguns. Some of them are like laser rifles. Some of them are really, really wacky. There's a lot of guns. There's accessories and treasures. All kinds of enemies. Like here's the standard, the bullet kin. The bullet kin are the most common gun dead, not undead, gun dead. These sentient shells were brought to life hundreds of years ago when the great bullet struck and formed the gungeon. They are simple creatures, but vigilant and loyal. And then also bosses. There's a lot of bosses. Um, I, I guess I'll, I, I was thinking about, let's try the lockpick actually. Oh, the lockpick is like a one in four chance. We got it. We get the honeycomb. Let's see what it does. I mean, I know what it does, but Honeycomb, be prepared. This honeycomb bonds with the user, releasing bees to protect their hive when damaged. So now whenever I get hurt, I make bees. But hopefully we don't get hurt, but we're, we're definitely gonna get hurt. Okay, so this is the boss fight. Now our goal is to beat the boss without getting damaged because if we beat the boss without getting damaged, we get a bonus.
Yeah, he's a reference to Metal Gear, if you were wondering. Oh, oh it shoots in every direction. That's crazy. I was expecting that. The damage isn't bad. Oh, oh we blew it already. I tried to be greedy instead of using one of my blanks, which I'll now demonstrate. The blank, that ability there, clears the walls, or clears the bullets. There we go. Now, if you're thinking, this doesn't seem so bad, let me tell you, give it a, give it a try yourself, and you'll quickly see it, it, it gets... It, well, is that the Mega Man Buster gun? What is this thing? Mega, yeah, this, so this is a reference to... This is a reference to Mega Man. That is awesome. I love it. Um, I'm gonna go to the shopkeeper real quick, and I'm gonna buy some keys. I need keys. Okay, here we go. Now there's there are five basic areas, but there's secret areas as well. I'm not doing any of the secret areas. I, I, when I beat the game once with the crap ending, we'll 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 do a secret area. They're very hard. Oh, damage is decent. Yeah, this is such a reference. I mean, it's the color of Mega Man's Buster arm and everything. This is a, this is a game. This game is great. Oh, I didn't even see him there. So yes, there's also traps, like you know, flame trap, all kinds of stuff. How much ammo does it use if I shoot? It only uses one bullet. That is awesome. So you pretty much always want to charge this shot up. Okay. This guy introduces an elemental effect. If I can actually catch up to him and hit him. There we go. When he dies, he bur he bursts into a, a, a pool of fire. Uh, we don't get burned instantly. Like you do. Have, you can step in the fire very briefly. Oh, this guy has to go. This guy's a key. Got him. So he, if you don't get him in time, he disappears. Show me what you got. Oh, more ghosts. He's got a sniper bullet. Who? I don't think so. Ooh, that's a that's a character. Okay, so that thing unlocks. Um, that thing unlocks a new, not a new character necessarily, but a new merchant, or it unlocks a feature. Molotov, that's a, a deployable item. So anytime you collect health and you have more health than normal, you'll get one of these vending machines. The vending machine hangs on to the health and you can have it dispensed later on, but it doesn't carry over between, oh, okay, that's a solid wall, Never mind. It doesn't carry over though between, what do you call it, uh, areas. So you gotta use the health. Oh, okay, this guy had enough health to survive a hit. We have to dodge roll to get over these walls. No, careful, if you fall down, you lose health. We got this. Oh god! Now, fortunately, we had some blank armor there. The blank armor, um... It activates a blank the moment I get hit. Oh god, there's snipers everywhere. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, no, 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 no. We got to find out where. We got to find out where the room is for this character, or like where we can unlock the the extra character. Oh, a blank. Okay, we got a blank bag. Those are really nice. I want to save them for the boss, though. You can, ooh, this is a super good chest. I sure hope it doesn't turn into a mimic. Nice. What do we get? What is this? The glacier. Refill your trays. Um, 
Glacier, refill your trays, automatic weapon, projectiles shatter and freeze enemies. That sounds cool. The Mega Hand, P, charged. The Mega Hand is a relic of the 10 days war against the robots, because, ro you know, Mega Man fought robots. The most powerful robot master sets. So Mega Man, like, the, the bad guys are known as robot masters, would modify it for their own styles of combat. This one is basic, but it still works well. <laughs> oh, it's great. Okay, let's... Whoa, that thing's crazy. I've never used this one before. No! No! Oh, he's... It, for, okay, he's not dead yet. So this guy doesn't hurt you. Oh, I lied. He does hurt you. I must be thinking of a different guy. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We'll get our health back. I'm not worried about it. Oh, that's the boss room. Because we have that dis we have the health dispenser, remember? All right, let's try this room. Oh, that's kind of weird. Where I I'm kind of reluctant to open that door. Okay, no, no, no. Here it is, the golden door. This unlocks our first merchant character. This character is um, this is how we spend the money that we get from the bosses. Oh, finally. I knew it would be a while before someone came down here, but seriously, it's been forever. Anyways, we should get back to the shop. It's closed for way too long. You should come by. We're on top of the level of the breach. You can't miss it. Thank you for rescuing Mistress Cadence and this one. I will escort her to the breach. Come on, box. Ugh, you're always so slow. If they get along well. Okay, yes, we need to do those in order to... Un okay, this is a secret area. If you do the secret thing, you're able to do something, but... I don't remember how to do the secret thing. We can come back to that reward later. Let's try over here. I want to try this new gun out. Uh-oh. Does good damage. Two shots. And they reflect and bounce around. No, you don't. I think I'm liking this gun. It doesn't shoot. When they said it was automatic, I, th I thought that meant it would shoot a little quicker. But you know, I'm not. I'm not unsatisfied with it. Damage is good. Now, all of the other weapons, they do have ammo. I mean, there might be some that have unlimited ammo, but these weapons, they definitely have limited ammo. So we got to be careful how we use them. Those things bounce for a while, too. It's going to be great in close quarters combat where you can ricochet everything everywhere. Here's a blue chest. Let's not let's let's not spend all our keys yet. Like I said, we might. You never know when you'll find something really awesome. Veteran bullets. This guy's powering him up. Took him out. Okay, let's keep looking. I mean, we've got a decent number of keys, so like... Oh, what does this guy do? The only legible text is offering, the rest is blank. Okay. That guy must want to trade an item for me, but like, I don't know how to do it. Uh, let's go over here. Because we got three keys, I'm willing to do the trade. So we get one of these. Is that gonna cost another key? Okay, it didn't work. I didn't want to use up that many keys. So when we destroy it, when, we, when a chest, when we fail to pick the lock, we can at least pick up some junk. The junk has not a whole lot of use, but like, what's this? Utility belt, all capacity up. Does that mean I get more ammo? Carry an additional item and more ammunition. Oh, that is, that's pretty awesome. I, I'll, I'll take. Um, let's go here and grab our health. There we go. And a, wait, wait, like, 36 casings down. Let's take out the boss. Okay, let's see how effective the glacier is. Cause it seems like it hits pretty hard against the boss. It's Maguzi. Yeah. <laughs> 
I, I think we can score perfect here. Oh god! Oh, I spoke too soon. And then I got... Every time I'm like, I'm gonna get a perfect. This one, this one's not too bad. Then I immediately blow it. It's just how it works. Man, the ice cubes are actually freezing her, which is really working out nicely. Here we go. That's a lot of bullets, but we got this. Oh, I hit. She froze me again. I can't shoot until I unfreeze or unpetrify. Oh, that stinks. We blew it. I mean, we still won, but like, you need to win without getting it. Yeah, I take it out. I'm angry about it. Angry! Okay, um. A key. And then we got something. What is this? Oh, we got one of those. Uh, this is an active item. Let me try it out. Okay, I don't know what it did, but that's okay. I don't need to know what it did. This weapon is pretty good. I'm liking it. We need to save its ammo, though. We're using up a lot of ammo. It seems like a pretty good boss weapon. So let's try the directional pad. Love it when you can get some environmental effects in there. Oh, it's the stupid spider. I hate this spider guy. I gotta find a... There's so much cover, which is, like, good, but also it's like we can't get, like, a clean shot on him. The spider guy is so much worse in areas where it's more open. I, I don't know how much it helps. Like, I, mean, I guess if you're totally surrounded, the D-pad would... It would allow you to attack multiple enemies, but... Oh, we're gonna get in the minecart. Don't mind if I do. I don't think so. Oh, didn't see him. The damage on this is actually decent. Although I kind of want the treasure chest. Like the burst fire hits, they are not bad to be completely honest. So, okay, so the brown ammo is a little bit of ammo to all guns and the green ammo is um, all of the ammo, fully restored. Okay, this is what I mean. When he's in an open area, it's much more annoying. We gotta take him out. There we go. Oh. Let's try it down. I don't know. Make sure we don't fall into the lava. Or the gold or brass or I don't know what it is. I'd assume it could be brass just because the shell casings. Okay, the bubbles turn into shots after they pop, so I kind of want to pop them in a controlled manner. There we go. Oh, this guy's annoying too. So as you destroy him, he changes forms. And he gets more out of control. I don't know what stunned him, but like, I'll take it. No! Bullets! Bullets! Working pretty well. Let's go back to the buster arm. Okay, we cleared this area out. Um, let's go this way. Down we go.
No, you don't. I love the damage on this gun. The damage is really decent. Ow! I didn't time that well. Okay, this guy needs to go. He's doing too much. Stop! That's too many bullets for one enemy. You, oh, okay, we got our health back. Nice. Yeah, the, the health gets continuously less and less generous as you go. In the beginning, you can make some mistakes, but once you get going, no, you gotta stop making mistakes. Took him out. That's the end of you. Okay, so we've explored this area. Let's keep going. Yeah, you don't want to just go to the boss area and try to finish everything. You want to, like, make sure... Oh, I forgot that's what he does. That's a direct hit. So these guys leave poison slime on the ground. They're not too bad, though. Oh, God. Wasn't ready. Stop riding all of the... I can't hit him! Here we go. That's the end of you. Oh, it's a big wacky mushroom thing. Whoa, that's crazy. Okay, now I know what it does. That's That seems like it actually could be decent. What does this do? Okay, environmental hazard. I'll take it. Got the mushrooms are coming out everywhere. No, you don't. Taking them out. Okay, the shop is. Let's go see what the shop has. I think that's a pretty good idea. What do you got for me? What's this? The triple crossbow. That sounds interesting. I'm just gonna buy it because I've never tried it before. Triple crossbow. Well, let's read some of these. Uh, triple crossbow. Three is greater than one. The triple crossbow represents the pinnacle of multiple bolt technology. This one alternates between slow firing bolts and triple volley. Interesting. Okay. Oh, so does it fire, uh, does, every time I reload, I guess it switches them. Oh, that's cool. That actually doesn't seem bad. This is not bad. Okay, like, I've never used it before. It's not bad. Okay, so, here's something we want to know. So, down over here, this is our item. It's recharging right now, so, like, that's how often I'm allowed to use it. Next time I see a big blob of enemies, I will, I will probably... Hey, next time I just see a bunch of enemies, I'll throw it in there, because it'll poison them and do a lot of damage. This guy seems to be immune to poison, though, so not useful against him. Whoa, where did that bullet come from? Oh, no! I see, so this thing, you can only fire it three times. Getting really generous with the health. Like, I gotta stop making so many of these mistakes, though. No, you don't. Why does it make them slow? Does it have some kind of... Do, do I have some kind of an effect that I don't know of? Oh, also, I can absolutely poison myself with those. And like I said, while I have played this game a good bit, uh, I still don't know, like, everything about it. In fact, I don't know even half of it. So it's still like a pretty new experience. Treasure chest. Let's go ahead and unlock this door. Looks like there's an area over here. Yeah, trying to find that, trying to find the guns that you like and then combine them with the accessories you like. That's a really big fun part of the game. And since it's random, okay, I'm not spending that on a brown one. Okay, this is where you get, like, a special item to make the bullet that kills the past. 
which I'm not trying to do that right now, so I'm just gonna go, let's see. Nope, didn't work. So let's collect some more junk. I'll take it. And then over here, I, yeah, I'll spend the key. What's that? And villain. Practical and safe? What is this? Um, fires anvils. A hometown favorite. The anvilin has been shown to be the safest and most effective ways of dispatching foes with an anvil. <laughs> okay, they weren't joking. It shoots an anvil. We'll try it in the next area because we're getting to the boss. Okay, so the bosses are going to start. Well, you know what I can do? I can use the poison. Maybe I can poison it? I don't know. I don't know if it's immune to poison or not. Oh, it's this guy. This is a guy I'm not as familiar with, which means I'm probably going to take a ton of damage. This is why he's called the Mind Flayer, by the way. He creates mines. And that makes me sad. The, the slow effect is awesome. Like, normally, he's, he's still trying to do his... Oh my god, that slowing effect is great! Gotta watch out, some of these bullets actually curve. Oh great, this is the one where... So here's the deal, if we kill the wrong one, they... We're actually doing really good. Oh! More landmines! If we freeze them, then we can get more free hits on them, though. Normally, there's no cover in this fight. This is so much easier with the cover and with the... Nice, we hit the real one. Ow, 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 ow. I thought we were gonna get. I thought we might. I thought I had hope. I had hope that we'd get the perfect there. Oh, he has so much more health than the other guys. this trick again. Oh my god, we got it so quickly that time. We're taking him out! So this is the money that we, when, the person we unlocked, the, this is the person that we will get them, we'll use the money for. So we get, we they fill our health back up, which is good, and then we get, what is this, the blooper? Close your bloop. Let's read it. Uh, close your bloop, semi-automatic, extremely high knockback, a poor facsimile of the gun that can kill the past. Seeking an alternate route to pass modification, time travelers would use these guns to eliminate their past selves and take their place. Unfortunately, without the gun of the without the power of the true gun, this always resulted in ironic consequences. No idea, like is if this is a reference to something, I have no idea. We'll give it a try though. Um Let's try it in the next area. Oh, we need to try the anvil weapon as well. Down we go. Okay, so this is probably where Fox is going to get stopped. Um, area 4 is where it gets serious. But we'll see, though. Wow, this thing does damage. I wasn't expecting it to, like... It's like a shotgun effect, but man, it hits hard. Okay, we might be in business here. Well, one more area, just to make sure it's not a fluke. Have a, one of these things. Oh, I... Oh, ooh, ah, ooh. Okay. Okay, I need a longer range weapon here. Uh, let's use... There we go, the Mega Hand. 
There we go, took him out there. Uh, let's try out the anvil gun. Like this one, but it shoots this one. I'm hoping the damage is really good considering that. It doesn't take him out in one hit, that's. I mean, it could be, I mean, I don't know. I don't have to say about it yet. We're gonna have to use it in more areas. Okay, this is another thing for the gun that build that kills the the bullet that kills the past. We'll have to see. Oh, this is another god tier one. What is that? The crescent crossbow moonshot. Fires shattering starlight. Whoa, that sounds awesome. A crossbow that shines in the moonlight of Ganymede. Uh, charge it up and watch the shooting stars fly. Okay, I'll do exactly that. Oh, man. This weapon seems like it might be one of... Golden junk unlocked. Oh, uh, this weapon seems like it might be OP. Oh, this weapon is awesome. Oh yeah, this might be one of the really good guns. There are some, like, super awesome guns. This might be one of them. Oh god! Oh my god, the projectiles are just everywhere. Okay, this gun is great. This gun is good. We probably need to use it, though. I was thinking about saving the ammo, but we probably just need to use it. Oh my god, it just reflects everywhere. That is so good. Um, let me try... I'm gonna use the lockpick here. We got it! Oh, we've got... Wait a second, this is the remote bullets. Does it let me remote control all the fragments? Okay, remote bullets, the unseen hand. All projectiles can be guided after fired. These end the, the tiny engines can be controlled remotely, allowing the wielder to change trajectories at will. So let me show you with the basic gun. So it lets me curve the shots. Does that mean I'm gonna be able to... Wait, <laughs> that's so weird. Okay, no, once they shatter, you lose control of them. That's fine though. There are, this gun is awesome. I mean, it's not as good in like open combat, but against really fat targets and then like, oh, these are like jammed enemies. Jammed enemies are more powerful than normal. Uh-oh, what's this? Made through. Oh god, the poison is real! This crap, this gun is so cool. I love it. Okay, we got more jammed enemies coming at us. No, you don't. Oh, it's so, it clears them out so effectively. Hopefully, like, you know, I gotta save some ammo for the boss, but at the same time, like, we, we need this to clear out these harder areas. Like, this is the enemies that are gonna be really vulnerable to it. Oh god, what was I doing? I can't just stand still. There we go. We gotta keep going. I see how it is. It's gonna like disappear and reappear like a jerk. Let's see how much that matters once I reflect everything all over the walls. Uh, we don't have any keys. Okay, no more keys. Let's unlock this and keep moving. Yeah, let's use, uh, let, you know, we gotta save some ammo. 
Uh, let's use the triple crossbow. That wasn't doing too bad. That's the boss room. Um... We haven't found the shop yet, have we? The shop might have some ammo. We really could use some ammo. Yeah, if we find the shop, he might sell us some ammo, which is exactly what we need. There are so many bullets! Okay, it's one of these annoying skeleton guys. Okay, I need a strong, I need a weapon that hits a little bit harder for these guys. Oh god, the Actually, this might do just fine on him. The thing about him is that we gotta take him out when his, um... There we go, now I gotta take him out before he regenerates. There we go. Okay, here's the shot. No ammo, that's not good. The pox cannon? Bionic leg? That sounds like it's kind of cool, actually. This must be, this thing must be, um, poisonous. The lousy t-shirt cannon. This souped up t-shirt cannon fires tainted apparel. Enemies defeated after contracting the pox will leave behind a pool of deadly goop behind. Okay, that's gonna be good for killing minions, but not necessarily for the boss, I don't think. Okay, unfortunately we didn't get any ammo. So it looks like we're gonna have to duke it out with the boss, which is not gonna end well. I don't think so. We're gonna try though. Oh, it's the wall. This is the perfect weapon for the wall, I think. This is probably the best weapon for the wall. I think this is the best weapon for the wall. I think we got this. And when I say I think we got this, I may have no idea what I'm talking about. Whoa, what am I doing? I need to put myself out. I forgot the bullets move in weird ways. I need a moment, I need a moment to change weapons. Oh, he can be poisoned. I didn't know that. Oh, I got hit by the heavy-duty bullets. Those flashing bullets do more damage. We took him out! Oh, man, I didn't know if I was gonna make it. Didn't know if I was gonna make that. Health and a bell. What is that? The aged bell. What does it do? It's an active item. Um, lacuna. Briefly stops time. Oh, that's crazy. This bell appears to be made of a different material at different times. The mournful tones it emits echo forwards and backwards. Some claim that they can hear it before it rings. Interesting. Um, I kind of want to heal myself. I'm going to buy the health while I'm here. The fifth area, it's going to be serious, Sam. There we go. Um, let's buy a key as well. I'm gonna hold out for a better item. Okay, we're making it into area three. We got like, that, that worked out really well. We fought one of the bosses I'm a little more familiar with. We might, we might make, we might be able to do this. Man, the fact that it poisons them, that is so good. We gotta make sure we don't poison ourselves though. There we go. Okay, now it's gonna get serious. This is like, oh God. I, fr I hate that hammer guy. The hammer is just like a constant thing that just attacks you. Oh, 
Oh! Made it. Like, you don't really fight the hammer so much as, like, you just have to deal with it. It's like an obstacle. Oh, I didn't know what that was. I've never seen that happen. Some of these enemies are very new. Because I don't make it to Area 5 all that often. We're taking them out. No, you don't. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, that caused an enemy to appear. I did not know what that would do. There we go. Oh, he's summoning enemies. That's what he's doing. That's like a summoning portal. This weapon hits hard. I'm really surprised. I, 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 no, it didn't look like... Whoa, what's happening? Okay, it's just a conveyor belt. I thought it was worse. It's an evil... It's an evil dungeon here. I'm sorry, an evil gun -geneer. Oh, he's absorbing my bullets. I gotta wait till he starts shooting back at me. No, you don't. Oh my god, we got a heart at level 5? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's very generous. Unexpectedly. I see more jammed enemies. Took a hit unnecessarily. Okay. Hopefully we can find the merchant and get some health. No, you don't. Why didn't I? I can't believe that. I just took a hit there for no reason. Huh. Now we're down to our last health. Unlock the door. This is it. We gotta make sure we don't get hit. Okay, there are a lot of enemies here. Oh my god, I was like, I did not know what those enemies did. Well, okay, so what happens is the gun that kills the past sends you back in time. And so now we go back to here. And what we can do is, first we can see what we unlocked. Now, I, I already know what we unlocked, but I'll show you. So, um, up here, that's our money. We've got 13 money. And if we go over here, we can spend our money. Hey, thanks for getting us out of that cell. This is Gungeon Acquisitions Department. You can donate money and we'll order new guns and items for the collection. It can be hard to come by here in the Gungeon since the H-Mon took over. That's uh, all anyone you outside uses. The collection? Yeah, the Gungeon is like a reliquary or some kind of museum only for guns. So we're collecting all the best ones and then throwing them downstairs. Luckily, the H-Mon has to put Rebels down pretty regularly, so we've got a constant supply of new equipment. They'll sell us anything. Once they are ordered, you can find the new stuff down in the chambers. So, order whatever you want. If you've ordered everything we have listed, just come back later. That's it. And he is. Thank you for the assistance. The acquisition department is once again operational. So, this allows us to unlock new weapons for the Gungeon. So, like, uh, let me see. I definitely want the heart bottle. So, that means we can now find heart bottle in the Gungeon. Like, before it wasn't available. Thompson submachine gun. Rocket-powered bullets, that's a good one. 
Uh, we only have six bucks left. I will take the Hegemony Carbine and the Gamma Ray. So now if I do this, it'll tell you Heart Bottle has joined the shootout. That means we can now find that item in the gungeon. Thompson Submachine Gun, now unlock them. Rocket Powered Bullets, that's a good one. Uh, hegemony, or at least I think that. It might be a... No, I'm thinking of explosive tip bullets. Hegemony Carbine, Hegemony, you know, stuff, all kinds of stuff. Gamma Ray, all of that joins. Now we can unlock some more stuff. And by do that by doing the tutorial. Oop, jump over. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess, here to change the past? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. I was like you once, came to change the past, and now I have no future. <laughs> okay, this is the tutorial. Now, you probably want to do this first, but, you know, whatever. Oh, my. Wayward soul, press A to speak. I am Sir Manuel. Eat my words, and I'll show you how to survive the labyrinth. Continue through the door to begin your tutelage. Like, whatever. I I'll show you how it's done. Okay, flipping tables. There we go. Yeah, flipping the tables. Awesome. This one is about dodge rolling. Yes, left bumper to dodge roll. Oh, don't worry. You guys got... Ow. 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 He says, like, things depending on how you get hit. He's like, oh! Uh, keep at it. Remember his left bumper, right? Don't forget to dodge. Dodge straight through. Ouch. Oof. Eep. Okay, I think he's repeating his dialogue. We got this. We did it. An impasse. Use your dodge roll to jump over the pit. Wait, what if I don't? What if he gets mad? You'll get it. What if I don't get it? Walked right in, didn't you? Watch your step there, scoundrel. That's like our character type. I can't watch this. Ah! We dead! I like to troll. I don't know. I just like to see the dialogue that he has. Oh, it's a really big one. What do you got to say? The dodge roll is the first and best way to avoid dying in a gunfight. Okay, sometimes the bullets are overwhelming. There's no way to dodge past that, but there's a way to get through. We're gonna use blanks. Using one will deplete all enemy projectiles in the room and stop enemy from shooting for a short period. They'll also push nearby enemies away. Great if you need a second to reposition. Grab them. Okay, I remapped blanks. Mine is just the left paddle because I have an elite controller. Oh yeah. Excellent. Blanks refill every floor, so use them when you need to. They can be found throughout the gungeon, but I wouldn't rely on that. You've got the basic drug. I suppose you've earned a reward. A gun befitting your stature and experience. Go on, open it. The big shooter. Oh, yeah. One of the gungeons, first you'll need something to shoot. One of the gungeons natural inhabitants. Cruel, savage, and bloodthirsty. Now, kill him. Let me see what this gun says. Pea shooter, baby's first gun, semi-automatic. Traditionally given to the gungeoneers when they first arrive in the gungeon. It's incredibly weak. What if I let him beat me? End him. What if I kill you instead? The gungeon is no place for compassion. No unique dialogue? What if I shoot him once? Cold-blooded, truly you are ruthless. The next rooms will be real gunfights. Kill all the enemies and the doors open. I'll meet you there, go ahead. Okay, fine. You know, this weapon's honestly... I mean, I'm not saying it's great. But it's honestly not bad, either. Like, it, do it does more damage than you would expect. It's better than your, like, basic gun. The reloading could be, you know, it doesn't reload as fast as I would like, but it's not terrible. 
Over here. You made it. You know how to dodge, roll, shoot, and use blanks, but there's more to learn. You need to know how to use items that don't exist in gun form. This med kit, for example, will replenish your health uh, by picking up by approaching and hitting the A button. You've got plenty of health right now, so don't use it yet. But when you think you'll need it, jam the right trigger to use it. Now head on through. Oh, I used it on accident. Give me another one. Give me another med kit, you... Stupid. You see that thing? That's a teleporter. When now you find one, you can always return to combat as long as you're not in it. First, blah, 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 open the blah, blah. Yeah, I got it. It's, it's all good. I'm just gonna, like, teleport right over here. Remember, you can warp. Yep, I can warp. Yep, I know how to do it. Okay, that looks like a room. No, you're not gonna sneak and attack it on me. Yeah, like the firepower is honestly not bad. I'm getting all this money and the money's like useless. No, you don't. Oh, we got a treasure chest. What does it say? Use Y to switch guns. And if you have two or more guns, hold Y to slow time. Oh, that's... That, that, there you the tutorial did something. Now we have the AK-47. Yeah, some guns are just normal, everyday guns. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Let's try up. Okay, up is the boss chamber. Now, this room has a secret. You see this wall right here is cracked. If we use a blank, the wall breaks and it reveals a secret. There we go. Oh, we got a pecan, we got a combo. The old knight's shield joins the shootout. The old knight's helm joins the shootout. Does it reveal what combo we just got? Okay, so we've unlocked the P cannon. And now it's actually pretty good. This is why you do want to do the tutorial as well, because now we, we've unlocked these items so that they're actually... Oh, let's find out what they do. Uh, the Old Knight's Helm. A sturdy if modest helmet once worn by a knight with an unusually large head. Uh, Old Knight's Shield. Heavy with experience, the shield of Sir Manuel emblazoned with his house sigil, the cup of knowledge. There is a diagram on the back illustrating how to strap on a shield and examples of when to raise it. Remarkably free of wear. But yes, we've now unlocked these for use in the gungeon. Speak to me when you're ready for the final challenge. Are you ready to put all you have learned to the test? Yes. Then... Face me in single combat! Let's begin! Oh, I see, he's got some... There we go, and then we also get some money. Look at all that money, we can spend that at the store. Come on! Saves all those bullets for the block nerd. Fiery, aren't you? I told you my life story. Aren't you supposed to feel sorry for me? No. You already won. There's no point in this. Enough. You're just the worst. The absolute worst. Go play the actual game now. Okay, that's all he says. Okay, now we got some more money. We should be able to go back to the store and buy even more stuff. Okay. The flash ray, hot lead, heart lock. Ooh, I want heart locket. Heart locket is an item that gives you more health, so I want that. Hot lead. I bet that's something that sets people on fire. 
So pea shooter joins the shootout. Heart locket and hot lead. Yeah, I think that means we burn enemies, which is nice. Yeah, we can't afford any of that stuff. My arm was caught in the shifting walls below. Um, sure. Whatever you say, guy. Anyways, that is going to be the end of today's episode. So each episode will be one run long. And uh, before I try to do any secret stuff, I'm going to try to just get the worst ending, which is just beating the game, the main five areas, no secret areas. And like I said, if you like this, let me know what you think down in the comment section. You know, if you guys, if the viewership is decent, I'll keep making more. If it's not as good, like, we'll make it a short run. You know, like I said, maybe five episodes or so. And then we'll move on to something else. I'm going to keep trying to bring some new content onto the channel, though, so that you guys, you know, get, get a little bit of a, a little bit of, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, in addition to the regular Get Good Fox content. Anyways, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Join my Discord and Twitch channel for even more content and be a part of the Get Good Fox community. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.